everyone, Lord of Flames here, and I'm not going to do another request video for reaction today because one of my favorite horror movies, Conjuring, has finally set up a third movie and finally got itself a trailer. And I'm so excited, but I heard the director who's making this movie is the one who did the, what's it, Curse of Lavonia? I guess what it's called. Which was a bad movie when I just watched it because that was a movie that my brother wants me and the rest of my family to, to watch. And we were disappointed at what we watched because too many jump scares, which gets a bit annoying and a lot. But it doesn't seem so scary, not so good at all. But who knows if the director of that movie understands his own meaning of what he got for the reviews of his movie. Hope he understands what he's going to do next for this movie if he makes it good. So, let's get on with the trailer. Okay. Hey! You okay there? He's sleepwalking. Jesus. Well, what the? I think I hurt someone. Yeah, you did, man. Or Ed something Warren, possessed you. With Lorraine. All right, let's get started. Residents of Brookfield were shocked this afternoon by the broad daylight murder of Bruno Sauls. The court accepts the existence of God every time a witness swears to tell the truth. I think it's about time they accept the existence of the devil. Whatever was going on, whatever happened that day. What type of bed is that? Oh. That was not Arnie. It's a witch's totem. We think your family was cursed. A witch. And that connection's still broken. Oh no, Nightmare on Elm Street style. It's I knew it! I'm only interested in reality. But I can see things that your people can't. It's all nighttime. That's odd. Oh, great. A jump scare. Oh, you bastard. Something terrible happened here. What the f what was that? Master Satan is <gasps> Exercise. not an Exercise. adversary to be taken lightly. She's doing it again. She's reaching out to the darkness. Lorraine, you need to come back. You're saving him worth everything you have? Because that's what it may very well cost me. Alright. Don't jump. You're going to just jump off. Holy shit, folks. Sorry I had to cuss, but that's my excitement to see this. So it's much different from the previous conjurings I watched last time, or even the Annabelle's. But, seeing this movie is going to be good, because see these random scenes of these movements or whatnot, like it's going to be epic during the final, I think. So, of course it's called The Devil Made Me Do It, but it's mostly about the witch curse. So, why does it have to be called that, if it had to be with a witch? Like, of course, if the witch somehow cursed you, that brought the devil to you. Like, a witch would be like, you know what? You heard me, then I'll curse you. I'll bring the devil towards you. Something like that. But, I think it has to do... I forgot her name since I haven't... Because I haven't looked back to watch Conjuring for a while since I last watched the Conjuring 2. But, I think it has to do with um her. Because she has a rough time. Because having to her... Because there is someone who looks similar to her who dealt the curse. 
I don't know if this reminds me of the Until Dawn game series. The third game, which it happened like the survivors who somehow see these flashbacks with some random curse going on. It's similar to that, maybe. Like, I forgot the game called again. But it's probably similar to that way that you see these flashbacks of these random curves going on, the witch stuff. I guess it's similar to that game. Maybe. Who knows? But damn, oh man, where is that freaking scene? Where is that? Where the hell is that good, good, good scene, right? Yes. That's the shot right there. I love that shot. It it's a, reminds me of references to that classic horror movie, The Exorcism. That one shot for the freaking poster with the main character who's standing right there looking up to the top of the window or just looking at the house up, um, near him. And it's similar to that. I don't know if this is going to be the part of the cover poster of the movie. If it is, do it, please. I want it to be a little bit of references, classics to the movies back in the old years. But damn, that looks amazing. Well, of course, let's hope that the director who did the Kurt Lavonia does it better this time, okay? So, let's hope, okay? Because let's hope, because the story better be good, alright? Because I see something interesting about Curse. Oh, the Curse. The curse! The curse of Lavonia and the witch curse these families. Similar to that, perhaps? Or maybe not. But, I'm so excited to see this. The final installment to The Conjuring. Been waiting for this movie. Well, luckily it's coming out this year. Hope it doesn't delay. I hope not. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. This is Lord of Flames here. I will see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.